the invention of firearms forever changed warfare around the world. However, for a long time, many tried to preserve the old military traditions. The warrior class of Cossacks participated in important periods of European history, especially in Eastern European countries such as Russia, Poland, and Ukraine. The origin of the Cossacks is found in the 12th century. The first settlements appeared in the period when the Kumans began to lose their influence in the Ukrainian steppes. Some historians suggest that the Cossack people had a mixed ethnic origin, having descended from Russians, Ukrainians, Turks, Tartars, and other peoples who, for some reason, put their differences aside and came together to live in a new society. The Cossacks were not exactly ethnic groups of people. They organized themselves around the 14th and 15th centuries, living in the steppes near the Black Sea, where they sought refuge from the demands of the emerging medieval kingdoms. The adoption of this lifestyle had to do with the fact that many medieval feudal lords levied abusive taxes on those who lived on their land. The Cossacks preferred to live on their own, creating fortified villages, living as knights and hunters like their ancestors. Their name already showed that they did not belong to any specific kingdom. The word Cossack originates from the Turkish term Kazakh, whose meaning can be freemen. One could find all kinds of people in the Cossack villages, including farmers who had lost their land, professional warriors, or criminals seeking asylum. During the 15th century, they fought to defend Moscow against attacks from the Tartars, fearsome, nomadic horsemen who destroyed the regions they passed through. The Cossacks also served Emperor Ivan IV of Russia, better known as Ivan the Terrible. For a long period of time, the main enemies of the Cossacks were the Crimean Tartars. For this reason, the Cossack warriors, extremely skilled in combat on horseback, formed a kind of border guard and protector of the cities. Over time, the number of Cossacks increased greatly in the southern regions of Russia. One of the most famous groups were the Saporozhian Cossacks, who inhabited the steppes of present-day Ukraine. The Saporozhian Cossacks played an important role in European geopolitics. They were hired as mercenaries to fight on behalf of the Russian Empire against the Ottoman Empire, which was at war with some European kingdoms. Although the Saporozhians fought to defend their cities from neighboring kingdoms, they constantly clashed with Russians and Poles as they were considered to have no right to live in the lands they occupied. To assert their independence, the Cossacks founded the state Hetmanet, which existed between 1649 and 1775 on the banks of the Dynapur River. It reached a population of more than one million. Several rebellions broke out in the 16th century due to pressures from the Russian Empire on the Cossack communities. One example was the Peasants' War between 1670 and 1671, where the Cossacks were led by Stenka Razin, attacking some Russian cities. During the Great Northern War, the Cossacks participated in the famous Battle of Poltava on July the 9th, 1709, between the forces of the Russian Tsar and the Swedish Imperial Army. In this battle, a group of Ukrainian Cossacks, commanded by Ivan Mazepa, allied with the Swedes, commanded by King Charles XII. The Russian victory was total, destroying the Swedish and Cossack armies. This forced Charles and Ivan Mazepa to flee, along with survivors, to the Ottoman Empire. Further rebellions occurred during the reign of Catherine II of Russia, when the Russian Empire expanded its borders to the regions of present-day Ukraine and Belarus between 1773 and 1775. Catherine II managed to crush the Cossack revolt, ending the independence of the Saporozhians. Thus, some Cossacks went on to serve in the Russian Imperial Army, and others allied with the Ottoman Empire as revenge against the Russian nobility. The Don Cossacks were also famous for their military achievements, named after the fact that they lived near the Don River in Russia. The Don Cossacks formed an independent republic, but maintained links with the Russian Empire, participating in most of its major wars. Even with new weapons and changing military tactics over the centuries, 
the Cossacks continued to maintain a unique lifestyle in their villages. The young men were trained from childhood. They learned to ride horses, as well as use muskets and swords. They also helped work in the fields and helped defend the village. As adults, men usually shaved their heads, leaving a long lock of hair on the side, and wore long mustaches for a serious look. They were also famous for their dances and festivals, with lots of drinking, merrymaking, and partying, a characteristic inherited from the various Slavic peoples who joined the free life of the Cossacks. Most Cossacks were Orthodox Christians, but some followed ancient pagan religions or practiced Christianity and Slavic paganism together. Maintaining an almost medieval lifestyle made the Cossacks the most feared Russian soldiers by French troops during the Napoleonic invasions of Russia. Napoleon himself was amazed at the quality of the Cossack cavalry, praising them, and saying that if he had such troops at his disposal, he would have been able to conquer the whole world. From a military point of view, the Cossacks were not well liked by the Russian army command, which considered them much less disciplined and trained than the dragoons, hussars, and lancers of the regular cavalry. During World War I, the Cossacks fought on the side of the Tsarist monarchy, but they only came to prominence after the Bolshevik Revolution of 1917. The Russian Cossacks fought against the Bolshevik Red Army, the armed wing of the revolution. The Cossack Army also became known as the White Army, with the Ukrainian anarchist Nestor Makhno as one of its main leaders. With the victory of the Bolshevik forces, the existence of the Cossacks was seriously threatened. In Russia, a systematic repressive policy against the steppe peoples, especially against the Don Cossacks, came into existence. According to the Chronicles of the Time, between 1919 and 1920, out of a population of about 3 million, the Bolshevik regime killed or deported about 300,000 to 500,000 Cossacks. To make matters worse, there was a major famine in Eastern Europe in 1933. The survivors of the Cossacks had to endure this ordeal without receiving help from their former allies. With the birth of the Soviet Union, many Cossack communities were dissolved or forcibly dispersed. In 1936, in the face of pressure from Cossack descendants, it was decided to reintroduce these people into the Red Army. World War II brought new challenges for the Cossacks, who were again threatened by more numerous and better equipped armies. Groups of Cossacks fought in different places during the war. Most of them became collaborators with the German army, though refugee knights who had once belonged to the White Army. On the Soviet side, the Red Army Cossacks fought on the southern front lines, where the steppes plains were ideal for frontal patrols and logistics. Despite their bravery during World War II, the Cossack cavalry ceased to be a significant force on the battlefield, as they could do little against machine gun bursts or heavy tanks. With the end of World War II, Cossack units, along with cavalry in general, were considered obsolete and removed from the Soviet army. Still, a Cossack detachment marched in Red Square during the 1945 Victory Parade. During the 1980s and the 1990s, the Cossacks sought through diplomatic means to restore their rights to their ancestral lands, and their impact on Russian and Ukrainian culture was recognized. In 2005, in a speech, Russian President Vladimir Putin referred to the Cossack people for the first time in decades, recognizing them not only for their distinct cultural identity, but also for their military capabilities. Many Cossacks were given important posts in their territories as police officers, delegates, or diplomatic representatives. The current image of the Cossacks is rather romanticized, representing freedom and resistance against outside authorities. But they were also considered a repressive symbol for their role in the popular suppressions in the Russian Empire, as well as their attacks against Jewish populations. Today, there are about 5 million Cossacks, divided between direct descendants of the old families and those who have chosen to follow this way of life. But one thing is certain, the Cossack culture will continue to persevere for a long time to come.